to the next unit in social studies. We are now going over poverty, hunger, and solutions, and we're going to start with hunger. Uh, but the first assignment is called How We Live, and in this assignment you have a few things that you need to do. The first thing is that you will need to identify, define, and try to understand what HDI and GDP mean. HDI is Human Development Index, and GDP is Gross Domestic Product. Uh, they both are things that have have ratings, and with that rating, uh, your country is put on a list, and what I want you to do is figure out where Canada is on that list. Then you have some questions to consider. I want you to answer these uh, on your computer, because I want you to send them in to me. And then we get straight to Activity 1. Activity 1 is called the cycle of poverty. And this is what I'm going to send you. Uh, here we have poverty, hunger, malnutrition, health, school, work skills, unemployment, not enough income, and then it goes back to poverty. And this is the cycle of poverty. Uh, many people are found in this cycle and it's very difficult to get out. So for example, an estimated quarter of the world's children live in poverty. If you live in poverty, then you have hunger. Children who live in poverty don't get enough nutritious food to eat. And if you don't get enough nutritious food to eat, then you are malnourished and you fail to grow and develop. If that happens, you're not able to fight off infections because your body is not healthy. If that happens, you can't go to school because you're always sick. I if you miss school, you don't have the work skills you need to get a job that you want and earn money. If that happens, you can't get a job and you'll be unemployed. And if that happens, then you don't have enough income to provide for your family. And if that happens, your family, when you have kids, will be in poverty. So this is a cycle. And what I want you to do is take a look at the cycle of poverty and brainstorm at least two solutions to get out of the cycle at each point. For example, how do we cut off the cycle from poverty to hunger? What are two things that you could do? What are two things that you could do from hunger to malnutrition? Two things from malnutrition to health. Two things from health to school, and so on. Um, and this can be done at a local level, a national level, or an international level. So you can think globally about this or very locally. Activity two is, uh, I want you to check out this website called gapminder.org. And if it comes up here, I'd like it to. Here we go. Uh, this is how this works. You can take a look at different families across the world and see how they live. And you can, you know, scroll these things down and this is how much they make per month and then you can click on families to see what they are like so uh, this family lives in Burundi which is in Africa you click on them and you can read about them and you could visit their home even and they have pictures of their home and how they live and description so what I want you to do is explore this website and get a sense of how people live. What else I want you to do is compare and contrast with how you live. So you're going to find five different families from five different countries with a similar monthly income as you and compare and contrast with how you live. You're also going to find five different families from five different countries with a much different lower income with you than you and you're going to compare and contrast how you live with them. So this will be a pretty lengthy uh, activity. The third activity will be a challenge. Can you eat for two dollars a day? Uh, so I'm going to give you a sheet that looks like this and your job is to figure out if you can eat 
for two dollars a day for a whole week uh, so you can use two dollars daily or you can have fourteen dollars a week and just use as much as you want in that week uh, you write your items of your grocery list here you virtually grocery shop you can go online and find sales and prices at Superstore or Sobeys or whatever and see if you can create meals for Sunday to Saturday for breakfast lunch and supper and uh, and see if you can actually survive on two dollars a day you have to assume that there is no available refrigeration because many of the world doesn't have that and after that I'd like you to answer some questions and this is the how we live assignment there's a few activities a few questions lots of thinking to do and it's really a chance to gain perspective of what it is like living in different parts of the world so I hope you uh, enjoy it I hope that you can learn from it and I hope you gain some perspective on your life here in Manitoba all right, we'll see you again.